This is the GT Aggressor Pro. It comes with a 3x8 drivetrain and an 80mm travel suspension fork with disc brakes. And this is my Trek Roscoe 7. It comes with a SRAM Eagle 1x12 drivetrain, a dropper seat post, wide handlebars, 120mm travel RockShox Judy fork, and plus size tires. Today, we are going to take both of these bikes to the Prairie Creek Trail system and see how they compare on regular single track, jumps, and rock gardens. I'm gonna have to go to the old school dropper post for today. The stop it and put it down. We're gonna start with it up. Pretty good. Super nimble and quick. Responsive when I turn. Now let's see how it jumps. Let's get that seat way out of the way. So I could totally feel the max of the suspension on that one. I mean, yeah, we made it all the way up to up to there. You could kind of hear it clicking whenever I jump. But this bike's not really meant for a jump line as much as it is just a single track all right we just switched out the bikes going from the gt to the roscoe You can definitely tell that this isn't a cross country bike. 40 more millimeters of travel, slacker geometry, dropper seat post and a big tire makes a hell of a difference. Now let's compare these two bikes. The Trek Roscoe is the better bike, but for twice the price, it really should be. The GT is really limited by its fork. It does well on single track, but a better fork and shorter stem would completely transform this bike. Make sure to drop a like and tell me what you think in the comments below.